the Syrian government's crackdown on protesters continues. A human rights group says at least 48 civilians were killed on Friday during pro-democracy demonstrations. Amateur video posted on a social media website shows large protests across the country as Syrians demand President Bashar al-Assad step down. Reuters was unable to independently verify the footage. The ongoing violence has prompted thousands to flee the country. Some have sought asylum in Lebanon, crossing the border on foot. This woman says she is afraid of the army, which has flooded cities at the heart of the protests with tanks and armed militia. Another 300 made their way to Turkey's Hatay province on Friday. The U.S. has responded to the crackdown with a series of sanctions against key members of Syria's government, including al-Assad, as well as his brother and cousin. Sanctions uh, that were announced today are intended to show the Syrian government that uh, its behavior and actions are going to be held to account and they must begin taking steps to respond uh, to the legitimate aspirations of their people and uh, respect the rights of their people. The sanctions include freezing assets and bans on doing business with the U.S. They are the first concrete steps the country has taken since the unrest began, but critics worry the sanctions will not have much effect. Uh, the sanctions are mostly about sending a message to the Syrian regime, but unfortunately I think they're mostly symbolic because for decades uh, U.S. policy has in a sense sanctioned itself out of influence in Damascus. We've had a series of uh, sanctions against Syria because of their support and state, state sponsorship of terror and a range of issues. The UN's human rights body is also condemning the government's crackdown and is launching an investigation into the killings and other alleged crimes. Rights groups claim some 500 civilians have been killed since protests began in Dara City in March. Authorities dispute the death toll and say 78 security forces and another 70 civilians have died. Jessica Gray, Reuters.